The Immigration Minister, Mark Harper, has denied the border agency as a shambles after the discovery of a backlog of more than 16,000 cases of people wanting to live in the UK. Most were applications from people wanting to bring their spouse to Britain. Others were from those seeking to extend their visas. Some were still awaiting a decision was, uh, uh, after waiting since 2003. Here's our Home Affairs correspondent, Simon Israel. In April last year, businessman Christopher Sims applied for his Brazilian wife to remain in the UK. Repeated requests for a response from the border agency went unanswered. Finally, having employed lawyers and threatened the border agency with legal action, he got a reply last Friday. Not a decision, but a request for more information. It's a shocking situation. We spent £825 on the visa and to be treated with absolutely no respect uh, is ridiculous. When we phone up, we're told the application is in process. We ask what does the in process mean and we're told it's in process. We said, well, what happens if we'd like a summer holiday or go away at Christmas? We're told, sorry, if you want your passport, you've cancelled your application. So therefore, we're with, well, my wife would then be an illegal immigrant. It's an absurd situation. So nine and a half months for just an initial response and how much longer then for a decision is anyone's guess. Yet Mr Sims is not even part of a backlog uncovered during an inspection into that corner of the border agency, the one that deals with marriage and settlement claims. Inspectors found a backlog of 14,000 cases where applicants had asked for a review of a decision not to allow them to stay in the country. More than 2,000 other cases were found in boxes where a decision hadn't even been taken in the first place, some as far back as 2003. The Home Office claims this latter backlog has now been cleared. People's lives are on hold pending applications such as this and they deserve an efficient and effective service from the agency. They pay a substantial fee for the case to be considered. The 14,000 cases in the pending tray were there, according to immigration staff, because no one had told them how to deal with them. 700 were being added to that pile every month. Mr Vine says senior managers say they had no idea about the backlog or that there was no policy to deal with them. We now have a policy, which is in most cases we're going to just say to people, you've had a decision, if you don't like it you can appeal, but we're not going to just go back and look at cases again. In a number of these cases, people were asking us to look at them again as a method of stringing out the process so they could stay in the United Kingdom. Andy Russell, with his two young children, is trying to play by the rules, but risks joining the backlog. He's trying to get his Chinese wife entry and settlement in the UK. They've been married six years. The children, from their dad's home in the West Country, can only see and talk to their mother on Skype once a week. I want mommy to come here. He'll submit the application in April. I've been in contact with so many families who have been refused visas for such trifling little matters. Um, they don't send, you don't, they don't telephone you and say, oh, you, you, you forgot to cross a T or, or dot an I. They, um, they refuse it. And then you join the appeal process that can take six months. And that is so scary. It's already taken him months to find a job which satisfies the new minimum earnings threshold of £18,600. The children are likely to have to wait a lot longer for the prospect of seeing their mother face to face again.